All right, well, welcome back again today. And I'm excited today to talk with you about growth and how you can grow in your relationship and ways in which you can grow optimally, right? So the most efficient type of growth and, uh, and the manner in which you can kind of achieve and become that person that you're hoping to be in your relationship to gift kind of the best version of you to your partner and how your partner can do the same with you. So stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss this. All right, so let's uh, jump into this topic. Let's talk a little bit about change today and how you can create change in your relationship by uh, implementing change strategies uh, in, inside of yourself. And in order to help us kind of with this topic, uh, I've pulled up uh, a slide that I use in the Optimal Growth uh, video course. So if you haven't checked that out yet, uh, go check out our video courses. Uh, I think you'll find a lot of great value in those. Uh, we've, we've kind of compiled together uh, some of these major principles that we teach couples every day and made them available to you uh, that you can go through those uh, by watching those video courses and, and uh, applying worksheets and activities and things as a couple to kind of implement those strategies into your relationship. And this is one of them. This is one of the topics uh, that I go over in one of those videos called Optimal Growth. And what I have here behind me is a, is a model that kind of outlines where growth happens and where growth doesn't happen <laughs> and how you can engage growth in your own individual life and in your relationship. So you'll notice here at the, in the middle, we have this zone called comfort. The comfort zone is, is just what it sounds like, right? So it's, it's a place that I'm comfortable. I, I can operate in that place easily. It doesn't cause me any anxiety or insecurity. Uh, it's an easy place for me to be. I'm comfortable there and, uh, and, and I feel uh, safe and secure and well in that spot. Outside of the comfort zone, we have growth. And that's a really important principle uh, to keep in mind, right? Growth happens uh, just outside of comfort. Right? So when I push myself a little bit outside of the comfort zone, that's where I can really experience uh, some growth. And then of course, uh, outside of growth, I have overwhelm out here, right? So this is a, this is a place that I've gone now uh, further than I'm comfortable going, uh, uh, further than I can stretch, and I'm into this place where I'm feeling overwhelmed by what's being asked of me. And of course, growth shuts down out there as well. Right, like my 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 whole being <laughs> uh, can go into fight or flight or freeze mode uh, uh, if I'm pushed too far, and growth doesn't happen there, and growth very little growth can happen here in the comfort zone as well. So it's kind of this middle place between where I'm, what I'm comfortable with, and and when I become overwhelmed, that growth occurs optimally, right? The best kind of growth, the most efficient growth, the fastest growth happens just outside of comfort before I get to overwhelm. So if we take this principle and we kind of apply it to working out, right? Uh, let's say I'm going to the gym and I wanna get in, in really good shape and I decide I want big muscles. <laughs> so I go to the gym and, uh, and I, I pick up uh, little five pound dumbbells and I do uh, you know, five reps with those dumbbells. Uh, and, and you can think, right, like if I, if I just did uh, five of these um, reps in dumbbells, uh, I'm probably not going to feel much of a burn. I might feel a little discomfort uh, at the end of that, but um, but not much. I'm probably not going to break a sweat. Most of us wouldn't, right? Five pounds, uh, you know, uh, doing this motion ten times is probably not going to uh, do much to change my physique over time. <laughs> it's within my comfort zone, right? My my body's already healthy and well enough. Uh, to do that in a way that's not really going to push me. So that would be an example of staying in this comfort zone. The same if you went to the gym and let's say you got on the treadmill and you walked for one minute and you walked at a, at a, of a, a speed setting of about three on the treadmill, no incline, just flat ground, and, uh, and you had it on a three, right? You're probably not going to even uh, get your heart rate up much, uh, let alone get in better uh, physical condition. And it's because the treadmill is not really pushing you in a way that, that, that causes you to grow. You're in this comfort zone still and, uh, and growth isn't gonna happen, right? You could do that every day, one minute on the treadmill on, on level three with no incline 
and probably be in no better cardiovascular shape, uh, no better physical uh, shape, no better tonation, uh, no weight loss benefits. Um, it's, it's probably not going to do a lot for you. And the same with those three pound uh, dumbbells, right? So, or those five pound dumbbells. So, so that, those are examples, right, of, of, of pushing myself physically in a way that's not going to create a lot of growth. Now, at the same time, if I push myself into this overwhelmed place, that might look like first time going to the gym, haven't worked out uh, ever or in a long time, and I try to pick up 50-pound dumbbells and do a set of 10 of those, right? A rep of 10 uh, 50-pound dumbbells. Um, probably not going to happen. <laughs> probably not going to be able to uh, curl those 50-pound dumbbells uh, at all. Right, and as a result of that, I'm not going to grow. Right, uh, I might hurt myself. <laughs> I might push myself in such a way that I rip a muscle or or I hurt a, a joint. Uh, you know, throw out my back. <laughs> so I might I might hurt myself in this overwhelmed place. But I'm, I'm not, definitely not going to grow uh, trying to curl that ten times on my first time to the gym. And it might be the same if I go to the gym and, you, and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna run a half marathon on this treadmill today. And I'm gonna run it on a speed setting of six, right? And I'm gonna put five incline and I'm, and I'm here we go, right? Probably not going to grow a lot. I, I might push myself into this growth zone uh, for the first few minutes, uh, but after about three or four minutes, I, I might have a heart attack. <laughs> It's probably just not going to go well, right? So, so I hope that helps you understand a little bit these three zones. Where we want to be is just outside of comfort before overwhelm. That's where we grow the best. And the same is for relationships, right? In a, in a, in a marriage or in a, in a partner relationship, uh, we grow the best when we get outside of our comfort zone a little bit. And, uh, and let me use the example today of, of a gentleman uh, in, a, in a relationship with his wife and trying to engage emotional intimacy. Now, emotional intimacy is hard for a lot of men, uh, just stereotypically, not every man. Uh, some men out there are very connected to their emotions, have high uh, EQ, we might call it emotional intelligence, right? So some men are in that, that position. But a lot of us uh, struggle with emotional intimacy. It's not something that we learned a lot growing up. It's not something that was reinforced in us growing up. And as a result of that, it's hard for us to kind of engage our emotions and share those emotions with somebody else. Uh, if you remember uh, in our Maintaining Intimacy and in Sex course, uh, uh, video course uh, number one, part one to that Maintaining Intimacy and in Sex, we talk about emotional intimacy and languages for emotional intimacy, stages of vulnerability in emotional intimacy. So a gentleman might be pretty good at, at making small talk with his wife. He might be fairly good at listening to her. But when it comes to sharing something meaningful about his day, really looking into his day and opening up to her about some of the highlights of the day, that might be really hard for him. That might be an example of moving outside of comfort zone, right? And, and for sure, kind of opening up about passions and fears or hopes and dreams, <laughs> that, might, that might land him out here in this overwhelmed place. He's just not practiced in being in that place. And it's hard to kind of push into that place without shutting down, wanting to disengage, right? And the same uh, with, with sharing kind of meaningful things about his day. But that might be a little bit doable, right? If he were to practice, for example, this, this hard, scary thing of opening up about uh, uh, fears and hopes and dreams, <laughs> right? That's a little bit too much for him to do yet. But if he were to kind of practice sharing a little bit about his day, highlights from his day, right? If he were to, if he were to practice saying, I want to share with you one positive thing about today, and one hard thing about today. He, he might be able to practice in that place, opening up about uh, and sharing about some experiences in his day. And as he does that, his comfort zone is going to expand, right? It, it's gonna become a little bit more comfortable for him to share about his day and open up about his world, right? It's still gonna be kind of tough for him. It's gonna put him in this growth zone right, to, to talk about passions and fears or hopes and dreams, that, that might be too vulnerable still, right, for him to do comfortably. But it's in the growth zone now, whereas before it felt overwhelming. 
And the reason that, that sharing on that deep level, passions, fears, hopes, and dreams in the marriage, the reason that that's in this growth zone now is because he's been pushing outside of his comfort zone to open up a little bit about his day each day. And his practice of that is making it a little bit more comfortable and expanding uh, the super hard thing for him to do into an area that he can do it with some challenge. It's not so overwhelming anymore. And of course, if he continues to practice that way, sharing about his day regularly and then opening, opening up once in a while about some of those deeper emotional uh, experiences he's having, he might expand this even more. And what you're noticing is happening is that now this scary hard thing that at the beginning of the relationship, he wasn't able to do at all. He just hadn't practiced it. His family didn't operate that at all previous to his marriage. Pretty soon that scary hard thing has gone from being something that's completely overwhelming to him to something that he could do with a little bit of challenge. It pushed him to something now that he can do comfortably, right? He's able to do that in his relationship with his wife comfortably. And it's because he's kind of been pushing himself into this place, just like exercising, right? Starting small and working my way into pushing myself outside of comfort and expanding my comfort as I do that. So you'll notice that as he grows, there's more and more about sharing and emotionally connecting that's comfortable for him, right? Which means that the, the zone for growth starts to expand into new areas that he couldn't grow into before. And the zone that's overwhelming him, the things that overwhelm him to share or talk about, are becoming very, very small in uh, his marriage, which is exactly what we want. At least it's exactly what his wife wants, right? <laughs> she wants him to get practiced and better at opening up and engaging emotional intimacy in the relationship. And the way that he did that was pushing outside of the comfort zone, right? So we can really take anything, it'd be great for you to think about in your relationship today, to identify something that's tough for you, right? You could think about something that's overwhelming for you, right? Or something that right now is challenging for you, but doable, right? But if you pick something that's kind of overwhelming for you in the relationship, something hard for you to grow into or stretch into today, right? If we, if we identify one of those things, this could be in, in uh, the emotional sharing, like, I, like I talked about just barely. This could be in your physical connection in the relationship, right? This could be in, in conflict resolution, uh, you know, staying engaged in a conflict. Whatever this thing might be with your spouse, right? Thinking about something that feels overwhelming to you. And if we identify what that thing is, the next thing you can do is say, okay, that might be too overwhelming me, for me to do right now. But, but where's something that stretches me toward that, right? Like what would an example be of something that would stretch me a little bit toward that? Because if I don't get out of my comfort zone at all, if I'm just like, that's overwhelming, I'm not touching it, don't ask it of me, I'm not doing it, right? <laughs> if, we, if, we, if we take that approach, we're just gonna stay stuck. We're gonna stay stagnant. There's not gonna be any growth, individual growth and refinement, relational growth and refinement, right? But if I can identify what is that thing and what's kind of a, a step that I can take in that direction that gets me out of my comfort zone, right? That's what we want to do. We want to take that step out of side of comfort zone and start to exercise these additional places uh, uh, that are hard for me to be. But as I'm there more often, I'm going to expand my comfort zone larger, right? Which is going to make that thing a little bit more doable, even though it's hard for me to do still. And over time, if I keep pushing in that direction, I'm going to find that a lot of the things that used to feel overwhelming to me now start to become doable, or at least doable with some stretching. And a little bit of stretching never hurt any of us, right? It helps us grow as individuals and, and in our relationship as a couple. So I hope that's helpful for you, right? Take this principle, apply it to something in your individual life or in your relationship and break down for yourself what's some steps that would push me out of my comfort zone even if I'm feeling overwhelmed by that thing still. And how can I be, practice being just outside of my comfort zone to kind of push that zone of growth larger? And as I do that, right, I'm, I'm able to shrink kind of the things in life and in my relationship that overwhelm me. I'm able to show up a little bit better, a little bit stronger, a little bit more consistently in my own life, in those things that matter to me, as well as in my relationship with my partner. And that's the goal. 
As always, we hope you like and subscribe and share this video. We, we want to help couples everywhere uh, renew the love and the connection, the vulnerability, right, the, the enrichment in their relationship. And uh, we're on a mission to achieve that, and we hope that you'll help us. So like this video, subscribe it, share it with individuals that you know uh, it might be benefit to. We're grateful to be with you, as always. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to talking with you again soon. Take care.